the French 47 millimeter anti-tank gun. Here is a picture of one which I photoshopped. Here is penetration data on the gun. If we are to assume this is correct, we will have to calculate the ballistic data. We'll use the DeMar tool to break down the data on this shell. Oops, opening to six, clear, clear, 800. And 55 meters per second, 110 millimeters penetration, K factor of 1851. Well, let's see what we have at a thousand, 72 millimeters, 35. the point data results. If we assume a German Mark III tank at 600 meters is the target, there apparently were several different sites used by this cannon. The most common one being the APXL 748. Let's run the ballistics program. We set up the method and the scale. As there is no preset Mark III tank size, I have to enter the dimensions. The APXL 748 has the same characteristics as the 743 sight. Scrolling down to the 47 millimeter cannon, we select this cannon, then we run the ballistics. It can be seen that at 600 meters, the cannon has a 84.2% chance of a first round hit. Going to the range graph, we see that our plot points match the ballistic curve, showing that it is correct. Going over to the two hit graph, we can see that around 600 meters, it has a 82% chance of a hit. Why should we think that this calculated data is nearly correct? Well, I don't have the primary sources to confirm that the velocity, I can compare the gun with a similar one. Compare the aerodynamic shape to the Russian 45 millimeter model 1942, BR-240. The range graphs of both guns are comparable. The end. And thanks for shopping Mobius.